Hey, what's going on, guys? Super Grim Pierre, as I like to be called by my real name, which is Dean. And today we have the final episode in our little uh, Escalation Map Pack Extravaganza, our little review, analysis, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, of the new map pack. And this map is Hotel. And uh, I guess I'll first I'll start off by saying I'm uh, sorry for uh, this one took a little bit longer to get. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start out by saying I really, really hate this map. I really, truly hate this map. Um, so if you don't want to hear me bitch and complain, you should probably just click off this video now because that's all this video is going to be about. I really dislike this map. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll tell you why I dislike it. Um, but first I'll start off by giving you my class. I actually end up using two different weapons this game. Um, I start off with the MPL class, which is, let's see, I died right now, so let's see what it has. It has Hardline Pro, Warlord Pro, and Ninja Pro. Um, the Warlord perks, or perks, uh, the Warlord attachments, rather, are the uh, Rapid Fire and the Suppressor on the MPL. And then uh, later on in the game I just get really frustrated and switch to my, um, my FAMAS class, you know. Everybody has their FAMAS class for when they get angry at the uh, at the good old Black Ops, you know. And uh, I really don't even know what that class has on it. It's probably Scavenger, uh, Sleight of Hand, and Hacker, and Ninja, I don't know. Something like that, and uh, it has extended mags on it. Uh, the killstreaks I'm using in this game are the 348, I believe, I think, I don't know. I guess we'll find out together like we always seem to do because, hey, I don't prepare for these commentaries. I just put the mic on and go. So... Uh, yeah, so this is Hotel. Um, I really dislike this map, and um, if I had to compare this map to another map in a previous Call of Duty, it plays a lot like um, High Rise from Modern Warfare 2. Um, if you play Domination and High Rise, if you've ever played that, you know that uh, either of the two spawn locks are ridiculous, and you know you can just trap them so well in Domination. And this map plays pretty much the same. And I, I do like that for domination, you know. I think that's always fun, um, spawn trapping. I know a lot of people think it's unfair or whatever, but, you know, it's it's part of the game, and it's definitely a very effective way of, um, you know, getting a good score. Um, so I do like that about this map. But uh, the biggest thing, you know, the difference in High Rise is it has the underground. And the underground in High Rise really gives you that advantageous way of getting out of a spawn trap and being able to mo maneuver around the map. And uh, this map, it, it doesn't allow you to do that because if you cut through the middle, um, you know, you're pretty much screwed because every single building has a line of sight down that way. And if you go along the sides, you know, everybody's camping along the sides. And, you know, we all know how Black Ops plays. It's Ghost Pro or, you know, or Bust, you know. So pretty much what you're going to find often in this map is a lot, a lot of camping. And it's just, it's really, really frustrating, you know, to try and play like, um, how I'm trying to play right now, you know, I'm trying to rush around with an MPL and it's really difficult when you got, you know, ghost guys with their FAMASs sitting in a corner because they're too afraid to move. And, you know, I, I mean, a lot of that is Black Ops, but also part of this is the map, you know, because this map is really, it's just, it's, it's hard to get around it. I, I mean, there's no other way I can put it. It's, it's difficult to maneuver around the map without being picked off. Um, that's at least the troubles I find most often uh, when playing this map. But, um, yeah, so if I had to suggest a class, you know, <clears throat> you'd think because it's such a smaller map that you'd be able to use SMGs and kind of rush around. But uh, I would advise you staying away from the SMGs and probably sticking to, you know, a Commando or a FAMAS or an AUG or something like that. You know, stick to your power assault rifles. Not often would I suggest that, and the uh, Commando is not actually really a power assault rifle. The Aug and Famas are the two best, or the G11. Those are the three best assault rifles. But uh, the Commando probably, I, I love the Commando. The Commando is my favorite gun in the game, um, you know, despite what my combat record says. But uh, the Commando is my favorite gun in the game. So I, I would probably just stay with those weapons. And, um, you know, I, I had said previously in uh, my other videos that these maps seem to um, harden, seems to come into play. And I don't think, um, I don't think Hotel is a lot different because you have those two points on each of the, um, what the hell you want to call them, the windows or whatever on each side um, that overlooks. Um, and a lot of times Harden comes really useful there. So, uh, yeah, Harden is definitely, it's a good perk. 
and uh, you know the no flinch is definitely very very useful so here you see I switched to my FAMAS class extended mags on it probably scavenger sleight of hand hacker if I had to guess not too sure but uh, yeah so I like I said I really dislike hotel it's you know it's frustrating and it's mostly just because there's so much camping and uh, I don't really want to bash this map too much more so I'm just gonna give my rating for it now uh, if I have to give this map a rating I'd give it a four out of ten I'm gonna give it a four just because they did try you know while it's it it's not something entirely new because like I said it plays almost exactly like high-rise I like that they tried to do something new with the elevators and whatnot that's kinda cool um, but uh, that's about all for this map um, so that's my rating on the map and I'm gonna let you guys in now uh, let you guys in now you guys cannot come in my house no that is not what I meant to say <laughs> I'm gonna um, discuss I guess um, on whether I would buy the map packs if you haven't already if you're on the PlayStation Network or if you just haven't decided on the Xbox um, since I've already gone through all the maps and I'm gonna leave each of my ratings for the maps in the description below because I've given a rating on each map before so I'm gonna leave those in the description below and um, yeah so if I if you were wondering you know should I buy the map packs if you're still you know not one if you're still you know not too sure I'm gonna say yes um, the first map pack the first strike map pack if you haven't bought that and you're still thinking about it don't that map pack is terrible all the maps on that suck except for stadium and it's it's just not worth it and um, in this map pack you know I love convoy convoy is one of my favorite maps and uh, zoo and what's the other one stockpile are two pretty average maps you know there's nothing special about them but they're great or not great but they're good is what I meant to say as I stun myself here like an idiot but um, yeah they're, they're two solid maps and then convoy is awesome and then you got this map which really sucks so you know it's it, you know it's entirely up to you guys on whether you go out and buy them but if I had to say you know it, it you get one really awesome sweet map two average maps and a map that sucks I'd say that's worth the price for me because I play a lot of Call of Duty you know so I, I think it's definitely worth the price but really ultimately um, you're the only one who can judge that you right now listening to this video you're the only one who can decide only you can prevent forest fires <laughs> But uh, yeah, you're the only one who can decide. And if you play a lot of Call of Duty, you know what? Just it's probably worth the investment. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I had. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Hopefully it's um, helped you guys out. Uh, I think I'm gonna bail. Bail. I think I'm going to bail early on this video. Is what I was going to say because I really don't have much more to say. Just wanted to get this video out real quickly. It's almost done. Um, at, by the way, actually, I'll continue talking for a few more moments. Look at the score and look at the time. That is one reason. I, I mean, if this doesn't show why Ghost sucks, then I, I don't know what does. Because this map just plays so slow. And this is Mercenary Team Deathmatch. And any Team Deathmatch game that doesn't end with the score and ends in time is just its terrible, in my opinion. All games... All TDM games should end at the score limit. And if they're not, that means the game's just way too slow paced. And that's Call of Duty Black Ops. That's Call of Duty Ghost Stops for you. I mean, that's that's what it is. But uh, this does end up getting to the score limit, I believe. And uh, I end up going 28-7 and 7 with the FAMAS and MPL. So um, that's about it, guys. I'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay. Um, you know, sorry it wasn't anything overly spectacular. It was that or it was this or a 20 and 4 game with the FAMAS where, I don't know, it wasn't that entertaining. I actually ended up killing myself with a frag grenade in that video. So that's always good. Uh, I probably should have showed that just so you guys could see the fail. But um, that's about it, guys. If you like this video, make sure to click like. And if not, feel free to give it a thumbs down. And make sure to subscribe. And I'm going to leave you guys. Actually, wow, I ended this right on time. So I'm going to leave you guys. Gimp out. Peace, guys.